What's up, superstars? Back at y'all again with another vlog. Saturday, just out. Just came from uh, doing a little bit of shopping, get some stuff for the house. Figured I'd uh, pop on here, holler at y'all for a minute, see how everybody's doing out there, staying safe, staying protected, being smart. You know, uh, more and more stuff is starting to open up. They're getting into phase one in different states. So we're getting closer, but still got to be smart because uh, it's almost like a setup to a degree. They're expecting everything to double. They're opening everything up with the expectations that the number of cases is going to double. You know, and then they talk about how uh, it's so difficult to get a vaccine because it mutates. It's been mutated, so it's not staying the same. So that's telling you that it, it's, uh, it's an advanced type of virus. You know, they, you know, that they, they did something and they got out, and however they got out. And uh, it's more than they bargained for, you know, because when you start hearing about prominent people, family members dying, you automatically know that uh, this wasn't supposed to happen. It's supposed to affect certain types of people and, you know, trim the herd to an extent. And, uh, and run its course, but now it's taking its own uh, legs and it's doing what it's doing out here. And it's uh, it's crazy, because like I say, it's, you know, people dying left and right. And you know, they saying how many cases it is, but they, it's impossible to say how many cases it is because most people can't get tested. Just facts. You know, how are you gonna say what, is, what it is if you can't test people? You know, so they should be testing, man. Within the country, it should be like, man, 100,000 people being tested every day. Test everybody. Test everybody and then figure out what's going on. Once everybody's been tested, then you have some information. Okay, and now you can try to help people to understand who needs to self-quarantine. Then you can actually see if the mask situation worked because these masks, they're not in 90, most people walk around with non N95 masks. Uh, some people with scarves on. I was just in the store today. I see a couple of people in there with no masks on. Just, you know, and so until they actually get a, a real handle on it and stop speculating, because you're testing 100,000 people out of 300 million, yeah, or however many they testing now, you know what I mean? It's still, it's not 300 million, so it is, you know, that let you know that there's nowhere near the amount of people being tested that need to be tested, period. Because that this far into the game, if it's not a hundred million people, fifty million people tested, who's playing? You know, then when you look at how vicious they hit New York. But yeah, I'm just uh, you know, I was doing regular things, just trying to take care of stuff. You know, not too much we can really do right now, but you know, I'm trying to stay in the uh stay uh, recording because I went through a little spell there where it was just like I was off and I wasn't feeling it because it's like dang I, I'm trying to get to a place where I can do some things and start showing the things I like to do and how I have fun but now you can't so it was like uh, you know that kind of that uh, you know and but the reality is I gotta still keep posting and all of this does, this still lets you all get to know me, you know, you get to see me undiluted. So then once other things start happening, you know who you're dealing with, you know. More of these videos I post where I'm just, I'm driving, I'm talking, you know. It gives you all a better uh, perspective, you know. So the, those that rock with me, you're going to, it's going to rock, you're going to rock with me because you know who I am. Not because you're suspecting but not because I've been pulling the wool over your eyes, you know, I'm giving it to y'all right off the hip, you know, like like a gunfight, straight, bam. It is what it is, it's coming out how it come out. Let y'all see who the real me is. And uh, as this thing started building and growing, then it's all people that want to be here that should be here. So then when things get better and, and positive things start happening for all of us, then it's all meant to be. You know, I'm a firm believer that 
things gonna get better because I ain't gonna quit. You know what I mean? It's not like, I mean, this ain't taking away from my life to do this. So if it's something I want to do, then I'm gonna shoot my shot. You know, and I'm gonna keep shooting it. And then, you know, maybe who knows? It may uh, all grow, uh, grow and turn into something different. But right now, this is what I'm feeling. So this is what I'm doing. And uh, if it if it grows and turns into something else, then that's what it's meant to do. It won't be uh, premeditated. I'm just going to I'm gonna fly by the seat of my pants and try to learn as I go and keep uh, improving with with the uh, content. And uh, I'll you know eventually I'll be playing with the editing more and get uh, better editing skills. You know all of that kind of stuff. So that's what I'm trying to do. Uh, but in the meantime, I just figured I'd reach out to y'all, you know, because, uh, and then it's crazy right now, you know, so many levels, because you get people that get sick, and, you know, they're in the hospital, you can't go, you know, it's not about it always being about corona, it can be about a multitude of things, uh, but if they in there, they in there by themselves, you know, and that's, you know, anytime someone is sick, they uh, the main thing that helps them is the presence of loved ones, you know, and the absence of that just makes that process a little more difficult, you know, so you can, the only thing you can do in those scenarios is make sure that you, you're there, your presence is virtual, you know, and that they can feel the love and, you know, you tell them, you know, and, you know, try to keep their spirits up, you know, don't be uh, lowly uh, in esteem or in your, uh, how you interact with them you know even if it's hurting you inside don't let them see it let them see the positives and uh try to cheer them up get their spirits up because that's what's going to help them to uh stay positive and to keep fighting whatever it is that they deal with you know what i mean and uh yeah that's uh that's that, that these are the times you know we hoping that that it goes the way that you would expect that you know once the weather breaks that this thing subsides but we you know honestly we don't know if that's the case you know until it gets here and this is a whole new animal so all we can do is uh stay positive uh keep on don't don't give up don't feel stressed and all of that kind of stuff because it's Nothing you can do feeling that way don't help it, you know. Do what you can do about any situation that you're faced with. And once you know you've genuinely done what you can do, then uh, that's it. You have to live with the results, you know, and don't let it bring you down. Never go too high with the highs, never go too low with the lows. Because that's a vicious roller coaster, because life is full of ebbs and flows. Ah, that was a little rhyme, unintentional. But still, it's all real. Uh, you know, that's how life is. You have your good, your bad, your ups and your downs, but it's how you deal with those times that define who you are as a man or a woman or boy or girl. You know, you gotta uh, take it all with a grain of salt. Like I'm the type of person I, I kinda stay even killed. You know, if something puts me in a place, then I'm in that place and I'm a, <laughs> you know, I'm gonna be dealing with it like I deal with it. You know, and every situation is its own. But other than that, the type of person I am, I like to, you know, I want to have fun, I want to chill. When I walk around with a chip on my shoulder, mad at the world, I don't blame nobody for nothing. You know, I don't think nobody owes me nothing, the world don't owe me nothing, no person owes me anything. And uh, I'm going to get out here and I'm going to do what I have to do to change my situation and circumstance. And that's all that anyone can do, you know. Do what you got to do to make things better. And if you're not willing to do that, then live with the uh, which way you go and shut up about it. Stop whining. Don't be sitting around whining and crying and you're not doing anything to change it. You know, who said it was going to be easy? If it was easy, everybody would be doing it. But that's what separates those who do and those who don't. The ones that do are the ones willing to go through the truck. The, the, the trials and tribulations, the tough times, and the, you know, the, where it's like, dang, where is this thing going, or what's gonna happen, how can this happen? And you still fight through it, then that's when the reward is worth it, you know? That's when the reward is worth it, and, and it's out there. It's, when you look at it, there's so many people that are millionaires, it's crazy. Look at the amount of billionaires that's in the world right now. So that's letting you know, even though things are the way they are right now, but it's the opportunities that's still here. 
So you just try it. It don't matter what it is that you think you give it a shot. What's gonna happen? You don't get you don't do it? Okay, well try something else. You know, that's just part of it. But if it, if you're not trying, then you're dying. I ain't lying. <laughs> I know that was corny, I said it anyway. But yeah. So that's all I wanted to do. Just reach out to y'all. Just tell y'all keep your head up, keep your chin up, stay strong. You know, get exercise in the house. Do something. Do something to stay active. You know, and uh, keep a positive mindset. Keep looking for things you can do to uh, expand yourself, to grow, to improve who you are as a person. You know, uh, and to change your circumstances. You know, I. I want to leave this earth knowing that I've created generational wealth for my family, that I put my whole family in a different place that those that come behind us don't go through the struggles. They just have to, you know, obviously keep learning and building upon themselves and be able to have the means to do those things without stressing about money. You know, money don't make you happy, it don't solve all problems, but it gets rid of money problems. And that's a headache. You, got, you know, your problems is money on top of everything else, because you go no matter what, you're gonna have everything else. But if your money is there on top of that, where it limits your op options, that's what you want to get rid of. You know, you want to get rid of the money problem. Don't let money define you or make you or change who you are as a person, but let that be a thing that eliminates the money problems, you know? And that's that's what my goal is. So, I'm gonna say thank y'all for taking the time out, superstars, to watch this video. I'm never gonna stop calling y'all superstars because y'all are the superstars. Even if I get to a million, 10 million subs, y'all gonna be the superstars because it's all about y'all. Y'all support is what's gonna help this thing go and grow. So, I uh, appreciate you all for watching. Uh, if you, you know, take the time out, to hit that subscribe, subscribe button, hit that like button, you know, share it, all those good things. And uh, it'll keep, it'll get better, and I'll be here, and y'all will be here, and we'll grow together. And you'll see it, you'll learn the process, and as things start to happen, and, and my life starts to change for the better, I'll be letting you all know exactly what's happening and what I'm doing with the opportunities and all of that. So, thank y'all superstars. Until the next time, I'm out. Peace.